Now let us quickly solve this Olympiad problem. This is very simple. They say 81 raised power sine squared x plus uh, 81 raised power cos squared x equal to 30. Then we should find x. Now if you want to find x, it's very simple. What do you do? Solution. Let us break it down. If I break this place down, I'm going to have... Um, okay, even if you don't want to break it down, let me have that this is equal to 81 raised to power sine squared x plus this is 81 raised to power. Because square x is the as 1 minus sine square x. I hope you know. Why? Because cos squared x plus sine squared x is equal to 1. So cos square x is the as this one moving here. We have 1 minus this is equal to what? 30. Now, this is the as saying 81 raised to power sine squared x, okay, plus 81 raised to power 1 over 81 raised to power what? Sine squared x is equal to what 30 because according to indice what brought about minus is because of division now what do you tell them you can say let let y be equal to what 81 raised to power sine squared x so anywhere i see 81 raised to power sine squared x i can simply put y there so i'm going to have that this is what y plus 81 over y is equal to 30 okay the LCM is y. Multiply everybody by 1 to have y squared plus 81 is equal to 30y. So this one coming here, I'm going to have y squared minus 30y plus 81 is equal to 0. So what are the two factors? Uh, let us check 81. 81, 3 divided is um, 27. 27 divided, I have 1. So I have 27 and 3. So this is y squared minus 27y minus 3y plus 81 is equal to 0. So the factors here is y minus 27. The same thing here, y minus 27 is equal to 0. So I have minus 3. So I'm having y minus 27 into y minus 3 is equal to 0. So what do we have now? This implies that y minus 27 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. So finally, y is equal to 27 or y is equal to 3. But I'm not looking for y. I'm looking for x. Okay? I can tell them, but, but there is a place I say that y, raised, y is equal to sine, sorry, y is equal to what? 81 raised to power what? Raised to power sine squared x. So what does it mean? 81 raised to power sine squared x is equal to what? 27 or 81 raised to power sine squared x is equal to what 3 now solving this i'm going to have i'm going to have that reduce this one now i'm going to have 3 raised to power 4 sine squared x is equal to 3 raised to power 3 if this take care of this if 3 now take care of 3 you have that 4 sine squared x is equal to 3 so therefore sine squared x is equal to what 3 over 4 so therefore sine x will now be the square root of 3 over 4 while x will now be the sine inverse of that square root of 3 over 4. So you have your x. So let us do that. Square uh, 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4. Then square root of my answer. Then shift sign. That's my answer. To so have 60. Okay. The yeah, square root of 3 over 4 is 60. Because sine 60 will give you this. Okay. This is simply root 3 over 2. Okay, and sine 60 will give you root 3 over 2. So breaking this side down, I'm going to have, for this side, I'm going to have that um, uh, 3 raised to power 4 sine squared x is equal to 3 raised to power 1. If this take care of this, I'm going to have that 4 sine squared x is equal to 1. So sine squared x is equal to 1 over 4. So sine x will now be the square root of 1 over 4, which is 1 over 2. So x will now be the sine inverse of that 1 over 2. Sine inverse of 1 over 2 is what? 30. So the answer is what? 60 and 30 are the correct answer. So please, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.